The following program contains flash photography. Viewer's discretion is advised. Jacob Kule Ajomali is a renowned Nigerian gospel artist, a composer of numerous evergreen songs like Lein Jesu Kuseniko, Damuso Jowomu Midelere, and many others. Fondly regarded as JKA by many with over eight albums to his credit. Although a chorister since the age of six, his professional musical sojourn began in 1987 as a youth copper with his maiden album titled Iriwo, a glowing tribute to the late chief Obafemi Awolowo, one of Nigeria's founding fathers and the first premier of the Western region. Sunday, 26th day of August 2017, marked JKA and his band, the Zion Ambassador's 30th anniversary on stage. Events Diary was there for your viewing pleasure. The sonorous events began with the celebrators on Vailin and a quick citation read by veteran ace broadcaster and the general manager of Radio Continental 102.3 FM, Tukumbo Ojekunli. Father of May 1963, to the family of late Father Elder Isaac O. Ajomale and Prophetess Mrs. Florence A. Ajomale, Nikoka, both natives of Ogun State. He attended St. Jude's Primary School in 1969 to 1974, and between 1974 to 1990, he attended Government College in Kurudu. He then proceeded to a one year training teachers program at Ansarudi Teachers Training College, Otaoku State. He taught at Egbarode High School between 1981 and 1983. In 1983, he proceeded to Ogun State University at Galway as a pioneer graduate with BSc honors in economics. While serving NYC, he released his debut album, Erin Wo, a growing tribute to late chief of Afghanistan, And right there and then, Bender State was given an automatic appointment. In the year 1993, JKA started his business outfit, Puzzle Promotions a marketing and promotion outfit. Jacob got married on 4th December 1993 and the family is blessed with children. He released his second album in 1994 titled Comforter. In 1997, he proceeded to the United States of America for a musical tour. Jacob Kunia Jumali has eight albums to his credit. He was also the composer of the song that won the census jingle in 1993 1987 mass mobilization jingle for the then Bender State. Distinguished ladies and gentlemen, shall we please give a round of applause for Jacob Kule Ajomale, AKA. Without any delay, JKA and the Zion Ambassadors thrill the capacity crowd at the beautifully decorated arena with some of his evergreen songs. <laughs>
Bo Jesu la duro ti ni lo jo shoro Ato fara ti mo mo ru kore Leki Jesu mi ko si Leki Jesu ko sa mi ko Ra 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 Oba mi mo lo ba ti mo si This time in another outfit, the celebrator made his second appearance on the band floor in breathtaking fashion. After 30 years of exceptional quality songs to officially mark the day in grand style, JKA and the Zion Ambassadors release another album titled Grace or Real Fair. Don't be 
Ibadan based aqua gospel artist Boys Oloron thrill the gathering in a spectacular performance. There is abundant ability in every disability. Bukola Ujui Bukun corroborated the accession with a spellbinding performance. JK and his beautiful spouse performed the cutting of the anniversary cake. Amen. Happy celebration. The celebrator, in an exclusive chat with Events Diary, spoke on the journey so far. My new album, Grace, that shows that God, it is by His grace that we are all alive, and it is grace that has sustained me. It's not by my power, nor by my might, nor my wisdom, but that of God. The last 30 years has been full of good, the bad, the ugly but the good surpass it all. I never thought I was going into music. My dad never wanted it, but that's where I found myself. I went to university. I even became an engineer, Cisco certified for that matter. And I'm supposed to be my hands on computer. But here I am holding the microphone, just like you are doing now. <laughs> but the younger ones, let them work hard. Let them do thorough research. Let them know that music is a good field. It's a field that it takes you far and wide. You meet the kings and nobles. And like the Bible says that your gift will make way for you. And that's what you have seen today. For over three decades, the celebrator has in one way or the other impacted on lives of his teaming fans, either through his lifestyle or his music. Listen to some heartwarming testimonies. JKA has been my friend. We go to the same church. It's a pride to the church. It's an asset, as earlier said. He has been working hard. Ada to ensure that he reached this particular stage. And we thank God for him. It's very encouraging and it's a pride to us. In all the people singing a gospel song, I think he's one of the people rated higher. He's a humble man. He's a very, very talented. I knew him in his days at the CNS Church Movement, Ioni, when they sang, um, I think that's the that's the album that is that's the song that brought him into the limelight and we thank God that ever since he started, I mean, the 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 he's been doing uh, wonderfully well. Not only in Nigeria here, but even in America, where he was before. JKA is an icon. Uh, he has done a lot to contribute to the musical industry. 
uh, in Nigeria. Uh, so I'm happy to be here today uh, to celebrate with him to mark his 30 years on, on stage. Uh, and I wish him the best in going forward the next 10 years, 20, 30, 40 years. He's very good at what he does. Um, actually, I happened to come across Kunle through a friend of mine, believe it or not. But now, we're actually best of friends, more than the person that introduced me to Kunle. Um, he's very faithful. He's someone that you can call your friend in time of need and in time of want. He's a friend like a brother. He is actually my baby brother, you know. Um, he has a very, very good soul and his style of music I've never experienced with any other person. I actually missed him a lot during my 50th birthday. I wished he was around, but um, I know that uh, back then he was there with me in spirit. I pray for God's guidance and blessing for the next 30 years. I wish him long life and prosperity. From us here at Event Diary, we are wishing the celebrator, JKA, many more for two years. Ajay Gunle, a city situated in Ajay Romi, Ifeludu, local government area of Lagos, regarded by many as AJ City or Ghetto City, undoubtedly the entertainment hub of Lagos back in the 90s, still or at one point the home of the likes of Daddy Shoki, Baba Frayo, Fuji Mestro Saidi Oshupa, Whiskid, Marvelous Benji, Basket Mouth, African China, Charles Okafo, Don Jazzy, Casey Presh, even footballers like Taribo West, Odioni Gallo, Obafemi Martins, Samson Siasia, and many others. LGD Entertainment, in its quest to revive the fading glory of this ancient city, presented the unveiling of this noteworthy project titled Ajegule to the World. They've all seen Ajegule as a place where you can get something good out of. They all see Ajegule as a, as a slum. They all see Ajegule as a no-go area. You understand? So this time around, I, 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 I looked at it the other way around. I said to myself, what if we have an event where all these people come together? Then I started compiling my list. And at the end of the day, I found out that I cannot even finish compiling the list because they are too much. So I said to myself, it's worth celebrating. We need to celebrate these people because they've tried. Without them, the industry, I, can't, I, ca I cannot tell you without them, the industry cannot be the industry today. But I will tell you that they started it all. September 10, we are doing the main event where you see all the stars coming together to perform to entertain their guests and at the same time we want to celebrate them and um, this event is going to put these stars back to spotlight it's going to make them come back it's going to make them come back it's going to make them go back to the studio it's going to make them feel like they still need to work more it's going to make them feel that they are not left out you get so now imagine when you have a show like that bringing all these stars and um, most of the youth out there they are being discouraged because the ones they are looking up to are not making any wave. So it's high time for them to all come back. Let them know that there is a reason we are doing this. And the reason is to put Ajegunle back to spotlight. Ajegunle, 
a Yoruba word meaning the home of wealth, in other words, the land of raw artistry and pure talents, at this unveiling ceremony. It was an avenue to showcase some exceptional talents the city has in abundance. Awesome mark of absolute support for the project, notable personalities like politicians, celebrities lent their voices at this groundbreaking ceremony. If you see 
Now to the eagerly awaited moment of the night that brought the ceremony to a close. The of God and mankind and to the benefits of a good citizen that, that are all over the world, we hereby unveil a good citizen. Brésilé, pour en prendre les roues. 